Hi, everybody. George Chamberlain here, business editor at uh, Kogo Radio, with a couple of thoughts about what's going on in the economy and the financial markets. I always like to uh, look at uh, uh, stories that revolve around companies that are merging. And usually when they merge, it's for the efficiencies of scale. You know, they, uh, they are able to reduce cost and things like that, and it works out pretty well. We had an interesting, uh, an interesting merger announced this week between a couple of food companies. And it's always interesting to look at the kinds of products that are involved here. And obviously, while there will be some efficiencies of scale, this is really designed to have one company uh, be the owner of some very, very popular lines of food. Uh, the companies that are involved in this are Hillshire Brands. Now, Hillshire, you would probably know that name a little bit. Uh, their most identifiable products are Ballpark Franks. They make Jimmy Dean frozen food products out there, and a lot of the Sara Lee products that you would buy in grocery stores are available there as well. They're going to be call, uh, buying a company called Pinnacle Brands for about $6.6 .6 billion. Now, you probably don't know the name Pinnacle Brands, but let me, and pardon the glasses here, you, you, let, me, let me share with you just a few of the products that they own. For instance, uh, Vlasic Pickles, we'll start there. Then you shift over to Duncan Hines, the cake mixes and, and a lot of frozen food products. Mrs. Butterworth's and Log Cabin Syrup are products they own. Bird's Eye, all of those frozen peas and carrots and vegetables and stuff like that. Uh, you can keep going there. Mrs. Paul's uh, frozen fish sticks that a lot of people enjoy. Hungry Man frozen seafood dinners. Aunt Jemima's frozen breakfast, stuff like that. All of those names that are products that have been around forever and ever. So now they're going to combine all of these and many others into one company that will be a giant food company. They, of course, will benefit from being able to distribute all of these uh, products together, and it will have some efficiencies of scale, but it is going to make uh, the folks at uh, Hill Hillshire Brands a real big player in the food industry, no doubt about that. I'm George Chamberlain, business editor here at Kogo. Have a good day.